Hello. Good morning to Dr. Hanisa. My name is Tan Hua Yu and my number of battery is 281232. And I am from the group X Team 18. This video is for the presentation about our company management report. Our company name is Unitex, that is a company M for profit and we are selling the shirts or clothes to unisex category. Then for our idea to have the name of the company is from the short form of the word of unisex, we take uni, then the text style, we take the text, we come up with the name with unitex. Uh, let us go to the introduction of the Unitex management report. For the first is the management. Okay, about the management, we have a lot of the definition from the other's professional or their perspective. Then, from my perspective is management is to manage and controlling the things or the people. Okay, this is only from my perspective, but from other perspective, just like the, okay, from the other's views, like the Kinney, Kit and William, 2007, they say about the definition of the management is to efficient and effectively to integrate thing, the work, to through it to achieve the goal that have been stated when the planning. So from here we can see that the management definition is not same as like me. Then from the other's perspective, like Tarot says that the management is to use the cheapest way and the best way to achieve the goal. So from here we can see that the management is more efficient. Management is a core of an organization for daily operating and to manage to comply with the mission and vision of their company. So that the management is the most important in the organization. And then for the management, most of the time is used by the administrative department to coordinate the employee to the right positions to achieve the goals and then to keep the daily operations to comply with the mission and vision. Then some others say that management is to serve the customer. How we say that because some of the survey how we manage to meet the customer need and wants and so on. And that's all from me. Thank you. We will continue to our teammate. Assalamualaikum, my name is Sarah Shabika bin Tiah Majais and my metric number 281309. So, what is management? The term management itself has many definitions. A lot of people talk about management, but are they really know the real definition of management? Based on management, a practical introduction, third edition by Angelo Kiniki and by M. K. William. Management can be defined as a pursuit of organizational goals effectually and effectively by integrating the work of people through it. The efficient means attaining the organization goals and effectiveness are the goals that the organization is trying to achieve. That's all for me. We'll continue with the next presenter. Thank you. Generally, organization is a group of people who work together, like a neighborhood, association, and a charity. It is also the act of performing or establishing something. It can also refer to a system of management or order or a structure for classifying things. However, organizational management is a combination of many components of leadership within a company. The actual structure of the company is utilized to gather information to analyze it. This is crucial to develop strategies which then implemented and executed by meetings, training, and promotion. Every business utilizes organizational management in a different way contingent on the unique needs of the business. 
Once a plan is implemented, organizational management must monitor and adjust activities depending on results. There must be a complete loop of feedback that sets the full strategies set from the top and delegated to the deepest channel of the company where performance results must let the leadership know if strategies are succeeding. This is where planning, organizing, leading and controlling takes part. Once the strategy is being implemented, the management level must supervise either it is following the plans to achieving the goals or not. If there are something wrong, they may take action and control the situation. Vision. We will produce clothing products with perfection in every aspect that spring comfortable and suitably fit according to the climate of Asian countries. In addition, our product will accordance with the fashion industry and endure according to the latest style. Meanwhile, we strive to improve our product quality and always meet customer needs. On top of that, our connection with customer will be improved and be able to maintain the happiness. Last but not least, we always aim to maintain our brand in the future. Our mission is, we will make sure to be the most customer-centric company and satisfy the product needs by customer. Other than that, we continue to strive to be leading manufacturer of shirts in the country. Meanwhile, we create elegant trend-setting designed for young generation with meticulous attention to details and styles. We aim to break borders, stamping our pride worldwide, maintaining the organization image and reputation in the market wheels, strengthening the country's economy. Objective First, getting and staying profitable. Maintaining profitability is making sure that revenue keeps ahead of the cost of business and still maintain products at reasonable prices with good quality process. Second, interesting and up to date. To produce various of color and style with a comfortable and simple to wear for daily life following the latest trends. Third, productivity of people and resources. We will make sure our employees get training, equipment maintenance for every six months and purchases our resources with a good Malaysia supplier because we maintain the attitude to support products made in Malaysia. For excellent customer service, we will provide training to our manager, agent and staff about to serve customer because good customer service help me retain, retain clients plus generate repeat revenue. Meanwhile, we can good connection with clients in terms of trust. Last but not least, environment friendly. We target and keep maintaining to produce product that eco-friendly. That means not harmful or effect on living things. We also practice nature friendly in our works environments because to get healthy and safe. Good morning, Madam. I'm Angel Tan, number metric 277930. After some background information about the management, next I will talking about the three managements in our business. First, human resource management. Our Unitas HR team will provide the employee with some skill development opportunity. The mission of the HR team is to ensure that all the new employee can obtain our company's specific skill and knowledge to complete the task effectively. Besides, HR team also manage the employee performance to make sure all the employees' output are in line with the goals and objectives of our organization. They are also have financial resource management. Financial resource management is about money. Unitex financial manager will estimate the company's capital requirement. Our Unitex financial manager also will allocate the cost of each activity and resources of all the product and service. This management can help us to determine and clear up all the product and service that are unprofitable as well as the price of product that are overpriced. Next, I will move on to technological resources management. You need to more focus on using the technological resources because it can make everything easier for our organization to run. Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Mama Azim bin Mama Izzat Hammer and my matrix number is 281212. And I'm going to continue this presentation by talking about the second 
key functions of management which is organizing. I'm going to be talking about organizing, organizational structures and organizational cultures in our business. First off, I'm going to talk about organizing. Organizing can be described as a process of allocating or coordinating resource within a firm. Organizing also includes the formulation of structures for the people, departments and activities within a firm. Organizing is important for a firm or a business or an organization in order for their operations to run smoothly and in order. Organizing usually happens after the plan has been made by the managers or the management. Next, I would like to explain the organizational structures. According to Mintzberg, in the year 1972, organizational structure can be described as a framework that has a relation to the people, jobs, operating process, and the groups of people who work together in an organization to achieve their goals. In other words, organizational structures is an outline of how all activities are directed in an organization. Generally, there are four types of organizational structure, which is the simple structure, the functional structure, the divisional structure, and the matrix structure. The simple structure can be described as a structure that only have one owner and all the decision is made by the owner. Generally, the simple structure doesn't have many management or departments in it. While the functional structure is a structure that groups people with the same specialty ability in a group or department. This structure usually have a lot of departments or management. For the divisional structure, this type of structure will group people with the same abilities and specialty in a formal group based on similar products, geographical regions, and also customers. And finally, the matrix structure. This structure combines the functional structure and divisional structure. Organizational structures can be represented with an organizational chart. This chart will showcase and outline the position of an individual in an organization. In our business, the organizational structure here can be described as a functional structure. This is because we have more than one department in our organization, such as the research and development department, the sales department, the marketing department, the human resource department, the technological resource department, and the finance department. All these departments have their own manager, and these managers and department is being supervised by one general manager. Next, I'm going to explain about the organizational cultures. According to Ravasi and Scholz, in the year 2006, organizational cultures can be described as a similar way of thinking or mentality that is shared by the employees or workers that leads to their behavior in the workplace. In other words, organizational cultures can be defined as the way people interact with each other clients, stakeholders, or shareholders. Generally, there are four types of organizational cultures, which is the clan-oriented cultures, the advocacy-oriented cultures, the market-oriented cultures, and the hierarchy-oriented cultures. The clan-oriented culture can be described as family-like where the workers or employees are close with each other and they will try to teach and nurture each other. The hierarchy-oriented culture is a culture that have a structured work and a controlled environment. The market-oriented culture is a culture that is driven by competition. And finally, the adocracy-oriented culture is a culture that encourages their employees or workers to be more productive, innovative, and creative, while at the same time being able to adapt to the changes of the environment. In our organization, the organizational culture here can be described as an adocracy organizational culture. This is because we encourage and need our employees, workers, and departments to be productive, innovative, and creative in doing their jobs and handling our products. And as a result, will allow us to better adapt to the changes that happens in the environment. And finally, that wraps up the organizing part in the four key functions of management. That's all from me. Thank you. Good morning, madam. I am Pang Sing Tong, number matrix 279013. Now, we come to the four function of management. This function also known as the POLC framework. It involves planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Planning is the first step in the four function management. 
Setting goals and create several actions are involved in this step. Our company unit text usually applies the management planning process carefully. Top management analyze the internal and external environment before creating a strategic plans for entire organization. Creating a course of action that suits the nature of our company is one of the challenges faced by our managers. Once the organizational plan has been created, managers should formulate an organizational structure and allocate the resources to achieve the goals of organization. In the process of organizing, managers are required to cooperate with other units in unit tax, such as HR and finance department. Moreover, our company also emphasizes on the feedback of employees and consumers. This is a key function to improve our performance because we provide what really needed by consumers. Leading is the following steps of the POLC framework. Managers direct and motivate the others, such as teammates, to develop an optimum work behavior. Our managers not only lead the employees to strive for the same goals, but also motivate them to do their best by offering the work reasons. To carry out a better performance, there are different leadership styles in Unitex. For instance, coaching and supporting teammates are the styles that usually use in our company. As we know, the controlling is the last part of the POLC. What is the POLC? POLC is the planning, organizing, leading, and the controlling. So for the last step of the POLC, we need to consider this is the most important key to maintain of the manage our organization. And then what is about controlling? Controlling is to make sure all comply with the standard frame that has been stated in at the planning sections. And then for the controlling, we have the five most important steps that we need to do for managers to controlling the situation. For the first step is to know which place that we need to control. Then for the second step is to create a standard frame. This will easy the managers to controlling and also for the staff to follow the rules that have been set by the highest management level. And then for the third step, the managers can measure the actual performance of every staff. From here, the managers can use any rating system to rate the performance of each month or each, each week or something like that. Then for the first step is the managers can compare the actual performance with our organization's objective and this will help the managers to control most in most of the thing in the organizations. And for the last step is to take the corrective way to control in controlling process. After this five major step that we have another after this five major step we need to continue to the two major sections in the controlling process. That is the budget controlling and the staff controlling. From here, the budget controlling, we can co cooperate with the financial department. We can make the controlling with the data that provided from the financial department. Then we need to make a reservation fund at least 20 to 30% of the uh, property value. That this will help us to face with the economic crisis or the financial issue that we will face in the future. That's all from the budget controlling. Then we'll continue with the staff controlling. For the staff controlling, we knew that the environment for us staff is the most important. From the staff controlling, we know that the most important thing is to create a good environment for the staff to work so that the staff can enjoy and perform well and in the conclusion they already have many discussion from our teammate and me about the management report that we have made from here we know that the management reports are so important for any of the organizations company to start any kind of the business so that we need to be more detailed and focus when we do the management report. 
From here, we know that the management report are not easy to be made. But congratulations to my teammate, Team 18, already done it. We've contributed their time, their effort, their sleeping time to complete this assessment. And this is all from us. Thank you.